All right, y'all. Welcome back into the Bearded Bros podcast or Bearded Bros golf show, I should say. I'm Rod. And I'm Marcus. Uh, some weather up here in North Texas. So if I get swept away by a tornado um, while this broadcast is going on, you know what happened. So we'll be under a tornado watch for the next hour or so. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. So let's For jump sure. into our Masters um, kind of preview. You know, the Live guys are going to be in it this year. There's a lot of talk about tension between PGA and Live. I, I truly think that comes down to the individual. You know, there's going to be people that are totally fine and cool. We've talked about how uh, laid back DJ is, friction with him. But I can see someone like Phil having some uncomfortable moments. And, you know, there were... Liv has taken up a lot of the jerks that the PGA Tour had, Patrick Reed, Bryson DeChambeau, people that already had friction. So to me, it's not, it's no longer about, okay, you've left and there's tension about you leaving. I think we've kind of waded through those waters. I think the tension will be more so on that just people don't like the folks that are coming back. They haven't had to deal with them on tour for the better part of a year. We'll see what comes of that. I don't think there's, there's much to be had there in terms of tension. What are your thoughts on that specific Thing. The best way to put it is to just literally extinguish that fire. I mean, if you keep beating the dead horse, I mean, or the dead drum or however the phrase may go, I just feel like the more we talk about it, the more you give them attention. They're pretty much, unless they start getting world ranking points for all these events, they're going to be out of the next Masters besides the previous champions. Phil's almost retired. Patrick Reed's going to always be a dickhead. Charles Schwartzel, like those guys, like, I mean, Charles Schwartzel end of his career too. I'm not really worried about it. The tension or not. And I really think it's what you said. They're already creating these incendiary moments. They don't need the tour to do that stupid shit. Anyways, go ahead, Rob. So tell me what you, <laughs> it's funny you brought up Charles Schwartzel. So I found this fact out earlier today, just kind of reading up. How old do you think he is? You know, that that's the thing. I, he's probably only like in his mid-40s or something like that, if that. He's not even 40 yet, or he's right about 40. So you think about how early he won that Masters in his career. I don't know. He, he, he was just off the map shortly thereafter in terms of wins, and he didn't capitalize and go on to bigger and better things after his Masters win. So I, I, I also kind of, again, just raised an eyebrow when I saw that. 